Hi, my name is Chris Atto and I play the character Logan in A Soldier Story 2. Logan's character is very simple. He is, uh, he is an, he's a military man on his own journey um, in search of a loved one, a friend, who um, has gone missing since all of the trouble started in the War to Republic. Um, but Logan's journey eventually takes him uh, to cross paths with Son Kele's character. Um, and literally, he is, the, uh, he is that guiding angel that tells her how to find eternal hope. And, and a means of proper survival, which is um, he literally tells her how to, how to be able to make it out of the country safely. And to be evacuated, you have to find the embassy. And um, literally when Sun Kali's character and his character get separated, um, it takes a while. In fact, as an audience member, you wonder if they're ever gonna see each other again. Uh, but towards the ending of the movie, he happens to be the same angel or the same guy that, um, sort of comes through for her. One way or the other, uh, the character is, he's, he's sort of an antagonist because, you know, he's, he's really facing his own road. And then, um, and then she comes along. This is a suicide mission, Mr. Essing. You can call me Logan. Okay, Logan. So how do you intend on finding your friend? You want to storm every police station in the hopes of finding her, and then what? And then I'll take her home. Why does that sound like a plan that was doomed from the start? Look, I have to go. And I suggest that you do the same while you still can because they may return, okay? So where are you going now? Lakama District. I'm hoping to start closer to wherever the displaced are and hopefully I'll bump into some co-workers. And aid soldiers, and police officers, and others, you name them. That district is crawling with security agents 24-7. That's fine by me. Look, I've got very little time to do this, especially before the Nigerian embassy decides to withdraw from your country. If I were you, I would head there. Why? Because they would take you in. As long as your country is still a part of the ECOWAS, that's the only hope of survival. Look, all the other embassies have long since shut down. They've evacuated all of their staff. The Nigerian embassy is the only embassy on the ground willing and waiting to wait to evacuate as many lives as possible. Now you need to look out for the green, white, green flag. If it's still flying, then you can assume that the embassy is still in operation, but if the flag is down, I would suggest that you tread with caution. One of the first few thoughts that came to my mind when I received the script was, okay, here we go, something different. You know, we, we might be able to do something with some stunts and, you know, some, some thrills and some action. I'm very big on that. Stop now! Come on, now! You know, it's always a pleasure being being on set with some truly amazing actors. Uh, this is the first time I'm working with Son Kele, but it has been nothing but eventful. <laughs> Um, I love that we, we share, we share a, a spiritual connection that I think we can always relate to. And we bring that to the table, even at work. Um, I, I absolutely love Olumide because I think that he is a force to be reckoned with. You know, if not now, then very soon, because uh, I had the pleasure of working with him on Sugar um, and a few other um, projects in the past. But he is truly a special young actor. Um, being, you know, being able to rub shoulders with the likes of Eric Roberts and, and um, all these people truly inspires you, you know, to keep bringing your A-game to work. Beautiful chemistry on set. Beautiful chemistry on set. Every great story needs a good director to be able to bring it to light. And Frank is 
one of those directors that says very little because again he trusts his talent but he is such a pleasure to work with you know um, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more with him in the, in the future uh, this is a soldier story too uh, who knows there might be a three and it may be Frank again but he's a fascinating director and you know I'd be happy to work with him over and over again A Soldier Story 2 is full of thrills, it's full of excitement, it's full of lessons, and most importantly, it takes you on a journey. It's going to take you on a journey that would make you question yourself. If this were truly to happen, how would you handle it? So come see it. It's got everybody nice. It's got Sankele in there, it's got uh, Alumide, it's got myself, Chris Atto, and more. Make sure you check out A Soldier Story 2 when it comes out.